Who is your La Liga player of the season? Yeah, I think this one has to go to uh, Vinny Jr. Vinny what a, Jr. What a player, what a guy. Really just... You know, he's such a targeted player for so many reasons on the pitch and off the pitch, as we know, and it doesn't get to him. He loves being the center of attention. He wants to be that guy that carries the team, and he's done that for Madrid. And there, you know, was always a concern after Ronaldo left, after Benzema left, who was going to be the guy for Real Madrid? Look no further. It is Vinicius Jr., absolutely phenomenal this season across all competitions looking to collect the double heading to the state shortly to play Copa America for Brazil they're not looking too good but with the season he's had I wouldn't rule anything out I think it's quite obvious Vinny Jr has to be the player of La Liga this season I love his can-do attitude I love the fact that he continues to want the ball in a in an era where a lot of players are afraid of taking on a player and losing the ball and getting hounded by people on social media, people in the crowd and even by their teammates. But Vinicius Jr. always tries, tries and tries again. And for me, he was the inspiration in the comeback for Real Madrid against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, which I thought was incredible, objectively speaking, because I obviously wanted Bayern Munich to win. We all did at the time when we were speaking as well. Still injustice there. It should be a replay game. Travis, there's a big elephant in the room for a certain Englishman that's in La Liga who's absolutely killed it on all fronts. Would you agree with Sarah in terms of Vinicius Jr.? Because again, it's her forte, so she's going to have the deciding vote. But let me hear your thoughts on Jude Bellingham compared to um, Vinicius Jr. for player of the season in La Liga. Yeah, look, I'll always I'll always bow to our resident La Liga expert. I'm never going to try and um, pretend I know any more than Sarah. I went for Bellingham. Um, call it English bias, call it whatever you want. I, I just, I went for him. Um, I'm happy to accept Vinny. Absolutely. You know, we've spoke about him a thousand times on this podcast. Um, just so long as Bellingham gets perhaps the young player of the, of the year award in Spain. Oh, 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 Sarah's got that hesitancy to go young player. There's the one at Barcelona. That's looking really good. Um, listen, Vinny, I mean, Bellingham, what he has over Vinny was the fact that he came into a new league, into a new team, and there was no transition period. He was there. He arrived and his bags were unpacked and he was ready on the pitch immediately. Absolutely. I think Bellingham was a close second for me, but I think Vinny brought, there's just a little bit more. He has a little bit more of Real Madrid in him. And that's not Bellingham's fault. You know what I mean? It's just from being at that team and just has a bit more of the culture. Maybe I don't know how to explain it, but Bellingham was one of the best players in La Liga for sure. Without a doubt. And then young player of the season for La Liga. Where are we going, Sarah? Well, we're not going for Jude Bellingham. I'll tell you that much. Oh, <laughs> controversial. Absolutely. We don't do it. Like, Listen. We don't do it. Oh, Bellingham, it, it could be one or the other again. But I think, I mean, I, it also is very much could be my Barcelona bias. But of course, I have to go for Lamine Yamal because when you're 16 years old and you're not only coming into a team, kicking out Rafinha to take a position, Scoring, you know, a goal as the youngest player ever in the Champions League, in La Liga, in, for Spain, and becoming Barcelona's best player of the season. The, I think there was just more weight on Lamine Yamal because there's so much more wrong with Barcelona. Whereas Real Madrid have been, they're way more of a solid team right now. We know that across all positions. So for Bellingham, it's not his fault. He, he's he's been absolutely brilliant but I think Lamine Yamal was dealing with a lot more against him and he's also younger too like to me when you think 16 I'm just like in what world are we talking about one of the best players for Spanish football being 16 incredible <laughs>